hey everybody it's me captain dan and this is episode eight of you guessed it the minecraft workshop it's great to have you here in the world i have some really cool stuff uh, coming up this episode and if you remember last episode uh, we ended where I was uh, I was about to make some bone meal bone meal to help things grow uh, but before we start back up again I just want to say thank you thank you thank you to everybody who has supported this program by subscribing liking ringing the bell do all of those things get get serious about it smash them when you do it don't just tap smash i mean you break the screen of your ipad if you can uh but you know what let's get right to business it's uh here here's how you make some bone meal so to make bone meal you just put the bones up there and you bring it down and now you've got bone meal so now using a combination of some of these different flowers and the bone meal and the rose bushes and things like that. And of course we have the oak leaves and the spruce leaves. Actually, I think I might be using spruce a little bit more. We can really come in and don't forget the pumpkins and the bales of hay. You're going to see me do some really cool things with that. And in fact, before we do that, I want to show you something really cool that you can do with a pumpkin. Um, you know, you don't, you don't just want to use the pumpkins. I don't think, uh, for, uh, for just looking like pumpkins, although they are really cool to stack up. You can do something that's really, really cool with a pumpkin. If you take a pumpkin and you put it down and you grab a set of shears, this is the magic right here. This is why I love Minecraft because of this, because of jack-o'-lanterns, because I love Halloween and this is the coolest thing in the world. But what are you gonna do? with a jack-o'-lantern. What is the point of it? Well, it's technically, I guess it's not really a jack-o'-lantern yet, is it? Because it doesn't uh, it doesn't have any light. It doesn't make any light. So how, what are we going to do about that? I'll show you. You grab these guys, if I'm not carrying too much, which I always seem to be these days, and you can take these and you chuck them up on your crafting table and you chuck some torches up there like this and guess what you can make jack-o'-lanterns so what am i going to do with these jack-o'-lanterns well i i'll show you since you asked uh if you take a jack-o'-lantern and put it in the ground it is an amazing light source it is an amazing light source and because all of you know that i love halloween so much uh, that uh, everything is going to kind of be Halloween inspired in this place. Uh, you see, I can't, I can't stop messing with stuff. That's my problem. That's my problem right there. Is that I, I, I always enjoy doing this uh, kind of thing with the packs. Okay, I think right here we're going to have a stack of pumpkins because it's going to look really cool. That's why. That's the only reason why. But. If you put a jack-o'-lantern inside of that stack of pumpkins, it's gonna provide an amazing light source that you're not gonna see as a jack-o'-lantern, right? So if you put this there, it's creating a ton, a ton of light, but you're not gonna even see that that's what's causing it because this guy's gonna be underneath this cool stack like that. So now we've got illumination at nighttime. But it looks like really we just have this cool like looking stack of pumpkins over here. Like who cares? It's just it's just some pumpkins. It's no big deal. Ah. So, you know, like it's not it. No one cares about that, but it's going to shed some light on this whole thing. And it's very, very cool. You can't you can do the same thing by burying a, a jack-o'-lantern in the ground. You could just bury it and it will provide the same light source. People will use it as a light source. They'll they'll put them down under their floor and they'll put carpet over them and we just we just might wind up doing that in a little bit too i think it would be cool to have another maybe maybe there's another pile uh back here i feel like there is you know it just it's just sitting here because i oh, see now i want him facing a different direction so I don't, I don't want to see the face there we go and that thing's gonna glow and look amazing yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Why not? Natural light. Now here, remember I said that I want to do a cool water feature. And I think this is going to be one of the last things that I do uh, in that area. 
I don't want too many plants and flowers and things out here. I want them to look natural. I want them to look nice. I want them to be something that won't stand out too much if they're here kind of alongside of this uh, alongside of this path. Uh, I feel like this is, you know, this is a, a good place to plant some things. It'll be attractive when you're walking up to the house at the end of a hard day uh, at work. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see something that welcomes you, makes you feel happy to be at home. You're not, um, you know, you're not afraid to go into your own house because it's it's been totally undecorated. And uh, you know, who who wants that? Nobody. That's what I think. Nobody. The answer is to to that question. Uh, so we can put these around. And in a second, I'm gonna show you this bone meal and what I was talking about with that. You know, there's no right or wrong. Since it's nighttime, I'm going to go look, look, look at this lighting. Told you that would be cool. Told you that would be cool. Same thing back here. We got some natural light. Look at that. Look at that. Illuminating the night. Now we can go ahead and put down some of these. Now we can go down and put some of these bushes down and uh, and the bushes are nice because you can kind of do them in little clusters like that and they sort of they sort of just kind of corral people in a in a certain direction you know and, and you can make you can make nice little little you know little little features and things like that that you know maybe they're just there why not sure and then you can take the bone meal of a genius and look at that look what you get when you do the bone meal now i don't like these tall ones and i feel like you get a lot when you bone meal something maybe a little too much but yeah And then with some creative uh, fence posting, you can make this look like uh, it's all, know, he's gonna have to go, he's gonna have to go. He can go sit right there, that's fine. So you put a couple fence posts in here and there, and uh, and it looks like, you know, maybe that's is sort of like it's guiding you, it's guiding you in. You can put a little fence post up there and we can put, oh, I'm gonna make something in a second that you're really gonna like. It's gonna look very, very cool. You know, maybe maybe we don't want anyone walking in that corner right there. Why? Who knows? You know, but that's just that is the way it is. It's the way it is. You know, protect. Protect the uh, nature a little bit. It doesn't matter. It's like whatever you want to do. You can go and have fun and you can do it. You could you want you want you want some fence posts here, you put them in and there there's a little uh, little thing and it it's nice. It looks good. Uh why not? Why not? Why not do something like that? One thing that we definitely, definitely need is going to be lanterns. All right, that's going to be enough for right now. You know what else we need? Just realized it. We need some barrels. that I would say is a fully decorated landscaped house with a big area in front a giant path and uh, 
Now we've got to do something about this. We've got to farm all of this away, and then we've got to fill it in and do the water feature. So let's clear this stuff up. All right, this is now back to normal and we can do a cool water feature. So what I was thinking about doing here was a pond, like right in this area with some fish in it. And we're gonna have like a little rock structure right there with some water pouring out of it into the uh, into the pond here. And so he may have to go. And I think, I don't want it to be too big uh, I think it should probably be might be too big And now that that's done, let's see. I actually, when I was on my adventure, I, I captured some fish, some salmon. Uh, to be specific, I would much prefer tropical fish. And I think that when I put the salmon in, it's going to constantly be trying to swim up that way. Yeah. Um, that's fine. <laughs> he can live in there. That's fine. He can... I guess I don't it's just kind of weird him just sort of trying to because you know salmon swim upstream right so mm, <laughs> there we go that's that's fine all right yeah that looks good what I want to do is I want to put oh, there some more stuff that I want to do I don't want to spoil it yet because uh well because I can't do it yet and I want it to be a surprise and I think you're gonna like it so we're gonna wait but that 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 looks fine that looks just that looks just right i think i think that's exactly what i was hoping it would look like oh you know i might be able to do a little something with that wall i still have a couple walls uh left over here and so maybe maybe i can do something with the walls yeah i think i'm gonna be able to
Yeah, I think I think I like that. I think that looks good. I think there's some interesting character to that. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And there is our water feature. Just like we wanted it with, uh, with no salmon in there whatsoever. No salmon. Uh, and I think that that's it for the exterior right now. I think we're done with this for today uh but gosh i am really running out of materials so between episodes i'm probably going to go and see if i could mine out some iron and really uh really get this thing so that we can in our next episode begin our quest for diamonds that's right that's what we're going to be doing next time so until next time i sure do appreciate you guys tuning in to this show remember to like and subscribe if you don't mind uh it really does help i appreciate it just smash the button smash the like smash subscribe and hit the bell and uh until next time this has been captain dan keep the feedback coming and uh thanks very much for joining me have a good one